Don't they know that we have family? Don't they know that we have to eat? Don't they know we, ha we have to do this? Don't they know that we have to do that? Hello, y'all. Happy Sunday. Set to achieve. Um, and I'm totally excited to just bring you this video, bring forth this video, um, because God is good. Okay, God is good all the time. Okay, so we're actually preparing for church. You can see I have my necklace. I have my little Sunday dress. Um, but I'm um, notwithstanding, I still wanted to put out this video because I know there's a lot of people that, um, need, need what I have to say. Okay. The Bible says in, um, Isaiah 61, that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me because the Lord has, has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. Okay. So maybe you might not consider yourself poor, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you know, you're basically like a working poor. Okay. Um, you know, you don't really have enough to get the, th the things that you want. And, um, you know, for a lot of people, it's really a struggle life, okay? I've been there and done that, okay? So I, I know absolutely the way that feels, okay? But I'm here to tell you that it does not have to be so, okay? You do not have to continue to stay, even if you are right now, okay? God wants to release you, okay? God wants you to have abundance. God wants you to have um, just, God wants you to have more than enough, Okay, God does not want you to be stuck. That's one thing I want you to know right now. Okay, God is a God of abundance. I mean, look at the air. Look at the birds in the sky. Okay, we do not have a poor God. So why are a lot of, uh, of God's people poor? The reason why a lot of God's people are poor is because they lack knowledge on how to break out of the poverty. They lack knowledge, you know, and a lot of people that have been stuck and have been seasoned and have been processed and programmed um, in... <sighs> Um, to have a nine to five and to just stay um, living paycheck to paycheck, barely having enough, not being able to cover their bills. Um, the reason why they're that way is because um, they've been trained to be that way. They've been programmed to be that way. They don't know anywhere way else to be, but to be that way, to be stuck. Okay. And God does not want that for us. Okay. Just remember that God does not want that for you. All right. So, um, so I just wanted to put out this video to let you know that there is hope. Okay, there's hope. Okay, so um, if you are new to this channel, um, I became a registered nurse in 2011. Um, I was burnt out within the first six months, even three months. Okay, I, I noticed that a lot of people in my workplace were smokers. Um, a lot of the, um, the the healthcare workers, you know, the nurses, they were always taking smoke breaks and they were just so stressed out. And, you know, there was one of them, I, I, I would never forget, her name is Dorothy. And she would always say, um, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a better way, you know. And I was just saying to myself, you know, as a new nurse that this is not it, okay. I mean, I struggled so hard in nursing school, including going through pregnancies um, and all these different things. And, you know, and it was just like, oh my gosh, okay. So, I... Decided that, you know what, after quitting job after job, getting another job, quitting that, and just like being like in a vicious like rat race cycle, unhappy, all my children were very young, everybody was like, I think I had like three under five, I didn't know what to do, okay, but I, I knew that that God had put that 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 passion in me to, um, to do better and be better and to be greater, okay, so um, I, I, I had a skill of knowing how to braid made out some cards, started passing it out in the mall because I would always love to go in the mall. I just love to see the beautiful things, you know, go in the, um, you know, go in the, the food court and things like that, you know. The mall that I used to go now um, to before then is closed. Um, we go to another one, it's a little bit farther away. But um, so what I'm trying to say is I started out putting out myself and just decided that, you know what, in order for me to succeed, I have to put myself out there. I should not be ashamed to put out my cards, you know, because it was a thing like, you know, that I was feeling kind of like sh shameful about, you know, but I, I decided to myself, you know, what, what is there to be shameful about? Um, and then um, I, I believe that like, I think like things like food delivery and things like that just newly came out. So I started doing that. I started um, with um, Uber Eats. You know, I still do, I still work as an independent contractor to today doing like package delivery, but not as much, okay? I have so many other things that I do now, including being a digital marketer, being a mobile operator, being a, um, having a middleman business. I have a middleman cleaning business, and now I'm also um, introducing my um, middleman 
braiding, mobile braiding business. So I don't have to trade as much time for money. Okay. So yesterday I was able to make $80. Um, I'm going to put a um, screenshot there so y'all can see um, from just a five minute phone call. Okay. From a lady that, um, that met me at the um, Target while, while I was passing out cards. I mean, I was putting up, putting cards on people's um, door, um, car doors. I was just sticking it on their car um, door handle. You just fit it in right in, you know, right at Target. And, and right as we got into the parking lot, some a lady just um, just parked right beside us because I think they just drove into the parking lot as well. And, and they were like, "Oh, we need cleaning," you know. And how how they saw that we had clean that I had cleaning services because I have car magnet signs. Okay, now all of these things are um, explained. In, when it comes to marketing in my um in my multiple streams masterclass masterclass uh bundle um you know so one of the videos so it actually includes uh four part videos um as well as um just you know explaining what it is that I do step by step um with the different business models um including my um independent contractor business you know making money from delivering packages and things like that um my um mobile braiding business you know how to be become a mobile braider i'm sorry how, how to start a mobile business that doesn't matter what you're you know doing as a mobile you might be a mobile um have a mobile lawn service you can have a mobile moving service whatever it is okay um but it's just you know you can just take that blueprint and apply it to whatever it is that you have a passion for um and then how to run a middleman business i have a middleman cleaning business and like i said i'm going to um start my middleman um uh, mobile, mobile braiding business. I already have um, a uh, service provider who's a, who's a mobile braider and I'm just getting her information and stuff like that. I think I want her to send me pictures of her work and things like that and everything so I can start sending my customers um, to her and getting um, $70, $70 every time that they book. Um, so like for example, like for not less braids will be two twenty, dollars and I would just take the $70 to um, deposit to book them and then dispatch it to her, you know, for the day that, you know, that is, um, you know, for, from the, for, for the day that um, the clients want and whatnot, okay? But um, it's very, very exciting um, to be able to say that I make money for myself. I don't depend on anybody else. I don't need anybody else to fire, hire me or any of that kind of stuff. Um, I'm able to run my own business. I also actually have a mobile notary, notary business, um, but that's to the side. Um, whenever they call me, they find me on Google or whatever. Um, I go and I make $100 in like five minutes just signing documents, you know, uh, power of attorneys, things like that, uh, affidavits. Um, but I, I mean, I'm like completely, I have multiple, multiple sources of income. My middleman business, my um, digital marketing business, people buy my courses. I, I make passive income, you know, I make money in my sleep, you know, so I do all these different things um, that has allowed me to not depend on a nine to five anymore, um, not be stuck. OK, I'm a child of God. I'm a believer in Christ. Um, and the Bible says that that, um, you know, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Okay? There's liberty. Right. You know, so I believe that especially at, for, for women, um, you know, it's important for us to understand that God wants us to be free. Okay, I was able to break out of narcissistic abuse and narcissistic, narcissistic abusive marriage. You know, I was married to a narcissist, still married, but separated now. Um, going on, it'll be uh, a year and April, May, June, July, a year and four months next month on the, on the third. Okay, that I've been separated. So almost a year and a half that I've been separated um, from my husband, um, you know, who was abusive, who was a narcissist and you know, was emotionally abusive, all those kind of different things. But if I did not, um, you know, if, if I did not have all the sources of income to take care of. Now, mind you, I have three teenagers that, that, that I, I, I take care of, you know, as a single mother now. But if I did not have this freedom, if I, if I was stuck in a nine to five getting paycheck to paycheck, I would not um, be able to be what I'm, I am right now to do what I'm doing right now and to have that freedom. Okay, I'm not stuck anymore. Okay, I'm not stuck anymore. Okay, I don't. I don't have to be stuck. 
okay? Because I have all these different ways that I'm making money. So if one is a little slow, another one picks up. If another one is a little slow, you know, so it's just, you know, and more and more I'm getting away from trading time for money. More and more I'm uh, moving more into just um, having passive ways of making money or just like really, um, like with my middleman business, like really, you know, short little phone calls, making money. And if, if I want to do my, my deliveries, um, like yesterday I was able to make um, $45 just like in like maybe 25 to 30 minutes just delivering a package from Walmart, okay, and picking up a pharmacy um, delivery, just like maybe 25 minutes, okay, I didn't even do much. I could have made more, you know, during the day, but I was like, you know what, I've made $80 from this, um, for my, for my, for my, for my, um, my cleaning service, um, as a middle, middle man, I don't, I don't, I don't clean anybody's nothing. I don't, I don't do anything when it comes to that. I don't own a bucket or, you know, a mop, you know, for anybody. Um, I just find customers, dispatch it to, to the ISPs, which is independent service providers that do the work and I get paid. I get paid for finding the customer. Simple. Okay. So what I'm saying here is that you do not have to depend on the nine to five. Okay. This nine to fives are not secure. Tesla just fired 10% of its workforce, you know, in a day. Okay. There people are being fired via text, via email. They're just saying, don't come back. Okay. So, so please, please, please. Okay. The Bible says that my people are destroyed. A lot of Christians, I'm sure that there are a lot of Christians too, that were part of that workforce, you know? So, and somebody was crying out saying, oh, you know, don't they know that we have family? Don't they know that we have to eat? Don't they know we have to do this? Don't they know that we have to do that? But God, even God knows that provision is very important. Remember, um, um, when God fed the, the five, um, the, I think it's like 5,000 men, you know, and I believe there were women and children, you know, during, in, in there. And they, these people were following, um, Jesus Christ and his disciples. They were following them and, 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 and um, you know, and, and God was like, well, well, they can sit down and, but they're hungry, right? They're, they need to eat, you know? So God knows that in order for us to hear that word of God, we need to eat. God knows that provision is important. God knows that, that, you know, being, you know, in lack and scarcity and, and not having enough is not enough. You know, God knows that we need more. God knows that, you know, that, that, that we have to, 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 to live in abundance in order for us to actually fully manifest his glory in our lives. You know, people are dying from heart attacks, you know, from just not having enough, struggling and striving and struggling. And, and, and it is not the way of God. God is a God of provision. God is a God of abundance, you know. But if we do not know, we're going to be destroyed. If, we're not, if we do not know what God has for us, you know, how we can have multiple sources of income and be able to provide for our families, you know, to be able to, you know, to be able to relax, you know, to, to be able to not have to work. And, and like when I was working my nursing um, job as a registered nurse, I have to work every other weekend, you know, so, so for a lot of Sundays in the week, I mean, um, in the month, I cannot go to church. So right now, rather than having my Sunday attire on, I would have my scrubs. I would have been left the house or, or be sleeping, preparing to, to work for, for, for 3 to 11 or 7 to, to, to 11. I mean, 7 to um, 3, depending on. So, so it, it was stressful. It was stressful. I could not enjoy my life. But now look at me enjoying my life, enjoying my children. To the glory of God, I just thank him. Okay, so it could be you as well. Okay, so being stuck should be a thing of the past. Okay, if you take action, okay? So go to sitebusinesscash.com or um, comment, ma comment masterclass. Okay, just comment master masterclass. Put it in the comments. Okay? All right? All right, so go ahead and please like this video, share, leave your comments. You know, but I just want you to know that God has so much more for you. God loves you. Okay, God doesn't want to see you struggle, but God's not going to come down from heaven. Okay, he wants you to take action. Okay, well, if you came across this video, it's because God wants you to do better, to have better, to be better. So that you can be able to give to other people. So that you can be a blessing. We are blessed to be a blessing. Hallelujah. All right. So, um, please, if you're new to the channel, um, you just came across this video. Um, you never encountered me before online. My name is Nonye. Um... My channel is set to achieve because we are set to achieve 
Thank you for watching. Like the video to share it to more people. And till next time, peace.